Hi, it's Patrick Hatzel from IntensiveCareHotline.com, where we instantly improve the lives for families of critically ill patients in intensive care so that you can make informed decisions, have peace of mind, real power, real control, and so that you can influence decision making fast, even if you're not a doctor or a nurse in intensive care. This is another episode of Your Questions Answered. And in last week's episode, I answered another question from one of our readers. And the question last week was part 15 of my sister is in intensive care on a balloon pump and ventilated after cardiac surgery. The ICU doctors want to stop treatment against our wishes and let her die. What should we do? You can check out last week's episode by clicking on the link below this video. In this week's episode of Your Questions Answered, I want to continue answering the next question from one of my clients, Emma, which are excerpts from one-on-one -on -one phone and email counseling and consulting sessions with me. And the question this week is part 16 of My Sister is in Intensive Care on a Balloon Pump and Ventilated After Cardiac Surgery. The ICU doctors want to stop treatment against our wishes and let her die. What should we do? You can also access previous episodes in this series of questions, part one to part 15, by clicking on the relevant links below this video. And if you are watching this on YouTube, you can click on the link below this video. That'll get you to our website to all of the other episodes. So in this series of one-on-one -on -one phone and email consulting and advocacy sessions with my client, Emma, you'll get real in-depth knowledge about cardiac failure in intensive care, how it works, the treatment and therapy options, how to wean somebody off the ventilator, and most importantly, you will discover how to get what you want if you have a loved one in intensive care and how to not take no for an answer whilst getting strong advocacy from a professional. You will witness how I can lead Emma in going from the intensive care team trying to force her and her family to agree to a withdrawal of treatment as being quote unquote in the best interest for her sister to challenge that and the intensive care team having to do everything within their power to save my client's sister's life and turning the dynamics upside down in Emma's favor. That's what happens when you have the right advice from a professional like myself who knows intensive care inside out and who knows how to manage the dynamics and who can take the fear away of being intimidated by the intensive care team. So enjoy this consulting and advocacy session and use it to your advantage when you have a family member in intensive care. So scroll down below this video and read the dialogue of this consulting and advocacy session between me and Emma. And again, if you're watching this on YouTube, just click on the link below and it'll get you to our website where you can read the one-on-one -on -one consulting and advocacy session. So, how can you become the best advocate for your critically ill loved one? How can you make informed decisions, get peace of mind, control, power and influence quickly whilst your loved one is critically ill in intensive care? You will get to that all important feeling of making informed decisions, get peace of mind, control, power and influence when you Download your free instant impact report now by entering your email below. In your free instant impact report, you learn quickly how to make informed decisions, get peace of mind, real power and real control, and how you can influence decision making fast whilst your loved one is critically ill in intensive care. Your free Instant Impact Report gives you in-depth insight that you must know whilst your loved one is critically ill or is even dying in intensive care. Sign up and download your free Instant Impact Report now by entering your email below. In your free Instant Impact Report, you learn how to speak the secret intensive care language so that the doctors and the nurses know straight away that you are an insider and that you know and understand what's really happening in intensive care. In your free report, you will also discover 
how to ask the doctors and the nurses the right questions. Discover the many competing interests in intensive care and how your critically ill loved one's treatment may depend on those competing interests. How to eliminate fear, frustration, stress, struggle and vulnerability even if your loved one is dying. You get five mind-blowing tips and strategies helping you to get on the right path to making informed decisions, get peace of mind, control, power and influence in your situation. You will get real-world examples that you can easily adapt to your and your critically ill loved one's situation. How to stop being intimidated by the intensive care team and how you will be seen as equals. You will get crucial behind the scenes insight so that you know and understand what is really happening in intensive care and how you need to manage doctors and nurses in intensive care and it's not what you think. Thank you for tuning into this week's Your Questions Answered episode and I will see you again next week in another update. Make sure you also check out our blog section for more tips and strategies or simply send me an email to support at intensivecarehotline.com with your questions. You can also have a look at our membership site intensivecaresupport.org for families of critically ill patients in intensive care. Or you can call me, find international phone numbers on the top of the website. Also, have a look at our ebooks and you can also get one-on-one -on -one consulting and advocacy with me via Skype over the phone or via email by clicking on the consulting tabs on the top of the website. This is Patrick Hutzel from IntensiveCareHotline.com and I'll see you again next week in another update.